I suppose convey my sadness at the passing of Big Tom. He was an absolute legend, a gorgeous, gorgeous man and so talented um, and just gave so many people an awful lot of joy and happiness with his music. So he will be sadly missed. Um, I also want to commend Senator Batchik this, on this morning's event on the Vote Hall 100. On the, it was just uh, so inspiring to see so many fantastic young people speak from the heart and so passionately. Um, but I really want to strongly welcome the landmark study published by the HSE yesterday, uh, which makes a really important contribution at a vital time for public health policy in Ireland. And the name of that report was, is The Untold Story. And it's harms experienced in the Irish po population due to others drinking. It's a, it's a, this, this report, I, I welcome it so much, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's, it's a result of three years of extensive research by Dr. Anne Hope, Professor Joe Barry, and economist Sean Bourne. And it, it shows in stark detail the impact that alcohol harm is having, not just on the individual, but on the families, friends, and wider society around them. And I know I've been speaking around this, and I work on the cold face, as I see clients every single day. I still see clients, I still work the programs with solely family members, and I see firsthand the worry, the stress, the anxiety that comes with having a loved one that, uh, with an alcohol problem, um, and, and just how devastating it is for them. And the authors go into great detail on the economic impact of alcohol harm in terms of things like crime, the burden on the health service, chronic illness and road accidents and all of this is hugely important but they also give a voice to the to the costs that just aren't captured easily by the numbers. As I mentioned, the stress, the worry, the depression, the lost sleep, the harassment, verbal and psychological abuse, and the damage to family life. And they also emphasize the children are most negatively affected here. And this is the piece that I really want to highlight, particularly in terms of witnessing violence or verbal abuse in the home. As a country, we've got to face up to this reality and our harmful relationship with alcohol. So I just want to thank the HSE. I want to thank the authors for providing more solid evidence. This is something I've been working on for the last 10 years. Um, we do need to progress the Public Health Alcohol Bill. I welcome it when it, comes, when it goes back into the doll. It's a matter of urgency now, and I'd like to ask the leader if the minister can update us on when it is going to be coming back in. Um, and, and I just think it's now we start to really look at taking alcohol harm seriously. And we're not talking about addiction here. We're talking about our culture, the alcohol harm, the impact it has on the individual and the families and the people, work colleagues as well, the people around them. And we need to provide renewed and improved funding to services. And I really believe that. Not not just for those with the problem, but especially for the families. Gormila Mahakut. Thank you.